Wow, this is a powerful day. Man, don't miss my radio show today on LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com. Live, today, Black Friday. It's going to be probably the most powerful three hours of biblical prophecy in the history of radio. I'm not joking about that. And it will simultaneously be aired on Blog TV Live under Pastor Paul Begley. You'll find it. You can either go to Blog TV Live or blogtv.com, watch me live, or simultaneously it'll be airing on libertybroadcastingnetwork.com on radio, internet radio. You can pick that up on your cell phones, your iPods, your iPhones, your your Bluetooth and, and everything. Or you can log on to your PC or laptop or your, and you can uh, also, it will be on the Liberty Broadcasting Network homepage. It will also be a live feed streaming. I'll be streaming live. I'll be on radio live to thousands around the world. And I'll also be live streaming on both LibertyBroadcastingNetwork.com and BlogTV.com. Are you serious? Are you serious, Paul? Yes. In high, in high def and Radio quality, I got brand new microphone here, okay. Uh, radio quality uh, mic, okay. I'm telling you that because I'm telling you, Black Friday program may be the greatest three hours in history. Now, I'm going to be also babysitting two grandchildren. And you might hear a grandkid run through the house or something. Don't freak out over it, okay. <laughs> oh, it's going to be okay. Who is this guy that's, that they're picking? I'm telling you, he's not the guy that's going to rule Egypt, this guy. But let's see who he is. Let's see if we can find it. He's a former prime minister under Jose Mubarak of Israel of, of Egypt. But who is he? Oh, here he is. Kamal El Ganzori. Oh, that was pretty good. How do you like Paul Begley technology? How do you like Paul Begley Arabic? What? Let's see if I can say it again. Because whenever I say people's name, I have a hard time. Like, Amud... Madula John. I have a hard time with his name. Um, uh, ben Ali. I can do that one pretty good. Then there's that, uh, oh, the Yemen president. Ali, ala la 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 You get hung up at the tongue thing there on that one. Um, mm, oh, President Cabo from the Ivory Coast. He had to go. I, 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 but this guy, Hosne Mubarak. Hosne, somebody sent me an email says, Paul, his name's not Jose Mubarak. It's Hosne Mubarak. Got it. Okay. This guy's name is Kamal El Ganzuri. Like Missouri, but Ganzuri. <laughs> I, can, I can nail this one. Kamal El Ganzuri. Ooh, let's do it again. Kamal El Ganzuri. Nah, one more time. Kamal El Ganzuri. That's it. That's exactly how you say it in Arabic. He's 78. He served as the prime minister between 1996 and 1999 and was the Deputy Prime Minister and Planning Minister before that. He was also a pro provid providential governor under the President Anwar Sadat. So this guy's been hanging around in government. This guy's, lived for, this guy's been in government forever. He's lived good like a king off the backs of the people, just like all of the government officials from every nation in the world does. Okay? And the crowds are chanting, illegitimate, illegitimate. Why are they chanting, illegitimate, illegitimate? Because they, they didn't choose him. They didn't choose Kamal El Ganzui. They didn't choose him. Kamal El Ganzui is a, is, a, is a crony of Jose Mubarak. He's even, he even was in the government under Anwar Sadat. This guy's been around forever. He's 78. They're... So the five general council trying to save themselves are, are picking their own prime minister and putting him over top of the people and then telling the people, you guys can have an election today for your, for your parliament, you know, for your underlings. No. The people are saying, no. We, we got rid of Jose Mubarak for this reason, for our own leader, our own king, our own lord, president, or whatever they're going to call him. The Bible says the council will be destroyed. And a fierce king, a cruel Lord, will rule the people. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. My question is, will the next guy who, who emerges from the ashes and the ruins of a, of, a, of a fragmented population in Egypt, will that man be the potential anti 
Christ, the Antichrist. You say, Paul, no, he's not going to come out of Egypt. No. Everything else has. Pharaoh ruled the children of Israel from where? Egypt. Moses floated down the bulrushes in the river Nile. Where? Egypt. Jesus had to flee Jerusalem because of King Herod's declaration to kill all children under the age of two. And an angel came to Joseph in a dream and said, take the mother and the child and get into where? Egypt. The deliverer, Moses, come out of Egypt. The deliverer, Jesus, come out of Egypt. And now will the false deliverer, the false antichrist, the false world champion, is he going to also come out of Egypt? I know, I know. It doesn't fit all of the book series and all of the theological studies and all of these reconstructionists and all of these biblical scholars. I know it doesn't really fit their... Their, their plan, they had it, they had it, they were sure it was going to be some future pope from Rome. They were positive it was some American president that would rise. They were, they were absolutely convinced it was going to come out of the EU. They, they, they just can't see. The, I'm not saying, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just asking the question, could it be? Could it be? Could it be? God has been revealing to me and every one of these things that he's revealed to me have been right. He's been, because he's revealed it. I'm not, I'm not picking up somebody's theory. I'm just letting God do it. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong in this. I'm not, I'm not prophesying it's going to happen. I'm just saying, could it be? Could it be right under our nose? See, we don't know who he is yet. He hasn't been revealed. And it's not this guy. It's not Kamal el Ganzuvi. It's not him. It's not the other guy that... Back when Mubarak was sort out, the vice president, I said, I, I even said, could this guy be the Antichrist? I did a video back, what, seven, eight months ago? What was his name? Suleiman. Vice President Suleiman. That guy just disappeared from the face of the earth. It's not him. It's not going to be, I can tell you right now, it's not Kamal el Ganzui. That It won't be him. And it may not be the guy that emerges from the Muslim Brotherhood. Maybe it's the one after him. Or maybe it's not even Egypt. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm just saying, could it be? Are we living in the days that the Bible spoke about? I'm just asking, could it be? Are you saved? To the very fact that a preacher, 27-year minister, rising out of the, I mean, you talk about rising out of obscurity. I'm rising really out of obscurity. The cornfields of Indiana. Could it be? Just the odds that, 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 I would be talking today on the internet asking the very question, is the Antichrist just about ready to rise? The fact that I'm even having this discussion should alarm you that we're living in the days that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24. The days that John the Revelator spoke about in the book of Revelation. The days that the ancient prophet Daniel prophesied about in Daniel 9 and Daniel 11. The days that Isaiah seen coming in Isaiah 17 and Isaiah 19. The days that Jeremiah specifically said would be here with the fall of Damascus and the breaking of the bow of Iran or Elam. Where? Jeremiah 49. The fact that I'm even discussing the potential for an Antichrist to come up on the scene. The fact that the black horsemen may be galloping through a falling economy in the world. The fact that we actually are seeing wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and divers places and dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. And I'm not trying to sell a book. I'm trying to sell you the fact that Jesus is coming. The world is cracking apart. We're getting closer to the apocalyptic moment. And I'm asking you the question, are you saved? This might be the best video I've ever done. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Somebody better make this go viral. Put this on your Facebook page. Put this on your Twitters. Send this thing out. Come on. Time is running out. Give your life to Jesus. Send me a personal message. The fact that I'm, send me a personal message right now. Tide I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Because I'm telling you, things are happening quick. Texas are coming in. Facts is coming in. Emails are coming in. Articles are being written. The news media can't even keep up with the, con the, the, the Middle East falling completely apart. Are you listening? And the fact that we're even discussing the possibility and potential that an Antichrist, the Antichrist, is about to emerge should alarm you that time is running out. I'm Pastor Begley. I'll be back.